Hi, welcome to our next series in our look at the a certification. In this series, we're taking a look at motherboards. So welcome, hopefully you've enjoyed lesson one and lesson two. In this one, we're going to take a more geeky look, a more in-depth look at motherboards. But before we do that, special thank yous go out to Geeky Jersey for this amazing Doctor Who TARDIS jersey. If you haven't checked them out yet, I've got the link down below Geeky Jersey. They can make some really cool custom-made jerseys. Highly recommend it. I've had this jersey now for over a month. It washes amazingly and so, so comfortable. Anyhow, let's get to motherboards. So we're going to take a look in this first video at the basic functions and structures of the motherboard. Now, first of all, as we've talked about in the second series of videos, the basic computer overview, all components must connect either directly or indirectly to the motherboard. Everything on the computer, everything in the computer, everything attached to the computer ultimately connects to the motherboard. It's kind of the spine of the entire system. Now, you might hear other terms used to describe the motherboard. So, for example, you might hear them called a system board, a planner board, or a main board. But for us, it is a motherboard. The motherboard is actually a printed circuit board. This is kind of cool. If we take a look at a motherboard, you notice that there's a lot of really cool designs built into the motherboard itself. You see these lines going through the motherboard. These are actually connections. These are actually, if we use the human analogy, these are the nerves that connect one part to another part. It's how signals are sent around the motherboard. It's how electricity is sent throughout the motherboard. So it connects all the devices physically as well as through communication. Now, one of the cool things is, is as you look at other computer components, so for example, not only the motherboard, but if you take a look at your video card, if you take a look at the back of your hard drive, you're also going to notice printed circuit boards there as well. So be sure to keep an eye out for those. So motherboards, boards contain multiple layers with highways of wires. So what you see is actually a layered effect of different layers with wires that go to different components within the motherboard. A bus, this is how we send information that goes along the bus. A bus can be a single wire. In this case, we're looking at a serial type of connection communication or a group of wires working together, in which case we're talking about a parallel kind of connections. Now we'll get into uh, serial and parallel in more detail, but for right now, just understand that serial connections send one thing of information at a time. This is kind of like if you walk around an elementary school and you see kids going to lunch. They are single file line. Parallel is kind of like high school where you just have a whole bunch of people going at once. So these are different ways to communicate. And like I said, we'll talk about this in more detail in some other videos. Now, this is going to conclude the introduction to motherboard section, really basic. Take a look at your motherboard, see the wire, see those traces, see how it's a printed circuit board. In the next video, it's going to be a longer video, and we're going to identify the general components of a motherboard. 